Hey, and welcome back to Wrench. On today's episode, we are going to finish this customization of this fiberglass front bumper on my 1969 Porsche 911 S. Welcome back. Hopefully you watched the last video where I did a ton of customization and modification to this fiberglass front bumper to get it to fit my ST flares. Now, in the last episode at the very end, I've glued on some L brackets with some captive nuts. Now, the plan for this video right away is to get my epoxied L brackets and the bumper mounted on the car lightly so I don't pull the L brackets out of their epoxy bond. And if it works, if I can actually get the bolts to locate, which is really all I need to do, because I can always enlarge the hole and move the hole on the car itself, if I can get the thing to locate, then I will fiberglass in the L brackets and that should be the permanent mounting of the bumper, which is super exciting. At that point, I have a couple other things to do to finish up the front end, but I wanna start there right now. So in the last episode, our hero epoxied these L brackets onto the inside of the bumper. Hopefully this stays. All right, so these are there and they exist. So I'm gonna to try to bolt this whole thing onto the car. Cool. Success. Solid, dude, solid. So that worked exactly as I'd hoped. And these things are perfectly positioned, which I'm psyched about. I'm gonna glass them in now. I have cut a few pieces of fiberglass and I'm gonna make this mixture on the hotter side, meaning I'm gonna add a little bit more hardener to it and that will make the stuff um, firm up a lot quicker than kind of normal. Rock and or roll, which I'm psyched about. And then this bumper will be pretty much done as far as mounting goes. I still have to like cut the mouth for the uh, air duct and, and reinforce it. I'll probably take something like a, a stir stick and put it here on the bottom and glass that in. So that's going to make this lip reinforced. So then I cut this middle section out for the air intake. But we will get to all that when the time comes. I just want the thing mounted so that I can sand it and do the body work on it and paint the car. So let's do that. Okay, so that worked great. The brackets are fiberglassed in. The thing mounts up really well. And before I mount it up and show you guys, I have a little bit of work to do on the front end. There's a little bit more welding and grinding and cutting that I have to do to make sure the front end is totally dialed in. I've had to move the radiator so I can get the bumper to fit right, but I have a little bit of metal trimming I can do to get a little more wiggle room than I have right now. So I'm gonna kind of take care of all that stuff now. Good and blah, blah, blah. So let's get into that right now. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to make it so the interface between this hole, which goes to my radiators, and the bumper is tight, which means I'm going to have to extend this lip a little bit and extend this lip a little bit. And that's to accommodate the inside of the bumper. First thing I'm going to do is measure 
the widths of these and cut a couple of strips. And then what I'll do is probably just overlap the metal so that when I put the bumper on, I can put it right up against this area and then hit some plug welds. None of this has to be, you know, like uh, perfect and, and sealed and beautiful. It just needs to be functional because it's all gonna be coated at some point. All right, first order of business is to get this guy installed, which is this little hanger under here. I'm just gonna tack it in these little crevices and then use the grinder to grind the whole thing down. All right, it might be a bit hard to show this, but I have these pieces all tacked in in there. And now I have this really nice tight fit against the air inlet, which I'm totally stoked about. It means that this front end is really all buttoned up. And let's just get a look at this whole front end. It looks great, it's super tight all the way around. Everything fits like it's supposed to. I've got adjustability. I've got a nice tight snug fit of the bass mouth, if you will, up against the air inlet. I will of course cut it out. Well behind me you guys see a nice buttoned up front end which I'm super stoked about. I will pull the bumper off and finish up the welding and grind it and put a little paint on it but you get the gist of that. Now finishing the front end lays the groundwork for what I think is going to be one of the cooler projects of this entire build which will be the next video. So make sure you subscribe to it. I'm really excited to do it, and it's the last piece of bodywork before it goes to paint. So with any luck, I get this thing to the paint shop in the next week or so, and that would just be incredible. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you dig this so far. I certainly do. And as a reminder, if you guys know anybody that needs a cool build for SEMA, make sure you reach out to me and let me know. Until then, you guys keep on rocking. I will talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.